Brian Lawson usually spends much of the winter in Florida, but not this year. Health-wise, I'd much rather be cold than get sick, uh, be warm and get sick, you know, so I'll stay here. Many at this Quebec trailer park near the U.S. border spend their summers here and head south in the fall, but it's another routine disrupted by COVID-19. I'm not the only one that's probably going to freeze their butts off this year like in Quebec. With Canada-U.S. land border crossings closed to non-essential travel, snowbirds can't drive to the U.S. as many normally would, but they can fly there. I haven't seen winter since 1991. That's what Therese Stinziani plans to do despite the Canadian government warning against travel. Confined here in the cold weather or confined in Florida and I could also go on the beach. I prefer 100% to be in Florida. Her trailer isn't winterized and she doesn't own winter tires. So she says she's got insurance that covers COVID and a plan to send her car across the border before her flight at the end of the month. We get uh, like 200 calls a, a, a day. Commercial traffic can cross the border, and this transport company has been fielding calls from snowbirds ready to pay thousands of dollars to get their vehicles down south. We are at the rise to, uh, to cross the borders with their, with their cars and RVs. So we, uh, we transport it to Florida and people just fly out there. But the federal government warns if travelers run into trouble abroad, it may have limited capacity to help and that older people are particularly at risk when it comes to COVID-19. It could also cause problems for the healthcare systems on both sides of the border, says this expert. Over uh, a relatively short period of time, uh, a, a large number of people traveling can overwhelm the ability of, uh, of public health and contact tracing to do their job. As the leaves fall, Brian Lawson is bracing himself for winter with the hopes he can escape it again another year. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Hemingford, Quebec.